Good morning. It's your man Earl. Early on July 4th, of course, we know what today is in America. It is what they consider Independence Day, and they is actually us because we are, of course, uh, in a roundabout way, shape, form, or fashion, we are Americans. So, nevertheless, uh, even though they take it as a holiday, we're grinding. Why? Because that's what we do. DeucesWild22.com, day 185, Wednesday, mid-morning, just got the workout in, got the sweat towel going. And uh, really trying to get my cardio up. Why? Because we have a new venture coming out, music label, record label. And we're going to be doing some traveling, going to be doing some recording. So Deuces Wild is our sauce company. Fig Tree Global is our urban Christian clothing line. And then our music label, uh, which will be putting out all kinds of music. Uh, gospel, rap, hip-hop, jazz, spoken word, the whole ball of wax. Day 185, Wednesday, July 4th. And today's subject matter is one word, identity. Why? Because as uh, we quote-unquote celebrate Independence Day in America, what's important is your identity. Where do you fall within the realm of this thing called July 4th? And we're not going to get too deep. We're not going to get too political. We're not going to get too uh, biased. But the question is, do you really understand your identity? And there's two areas that I need to look at and really pivot back and forth off. One is identity crisis, and then the other one is identity theft. So we're going to look at just those two things, day 185, briefly, July 4th, Independence Day here in America, where they broke away from the crown, if you want to call it that. So the first thing is this, identity. Who are you? Okay, what is your identity? Personally, what is your identity in business? Okay, because to be independent means to understand what you are not. Otherwise, what you will not do. Your identity has to deal with more what you're not going to do versus what you are going to do. People get that mixed up. You're known uh, not for what you do. You're known for what you're not going to do. All right? That's what you're really known for. Now, you could go back and forth and bounce it around because I know people are known for acting crazy or people are known for being firm. So uh, I, I just want to play with that in your mind a little bit so you get to understand what are you known for? Are you known for not having any boundaries or are you known for being a person of boundaries or having some level of, hey, this is where it stops. I can go just this far or do you, are you a person that just goes with the flow? No matter what cost it may cost you in the end. Okay? First of all, who are you? Second of all, what you will not do. Within your identity, there should be some parameters on what you're not going to do. Often people have no boundaries. They have no limitations. They have absolutely no uh, level of stop, if you want to call it that. Or self-control is what I would say if I was teaching in another area. No self-control. You don't know who you are and you have no self-control, which means you're willing to do anything. To get whatever, quote unquote, you want or a feeling, if you want to call it that. All right. And then the third dimension is your, in your identity is what you will do. What are you willing to do to get or to build up or to live up to this identity that you have? So identity crisis is this. It's a season or a period of crisis and confusion. Hello. In which an individual sense of identity becomes insecure so it could be a season of a crisis it could be your whole life could be i don't know who i am this is why when you're when a when a culture's histor uh, when a culture is historically stolen if you will if i want to say that correctly or a culture's history has been stolen and replaced and re re manipulated everybody's confused because you don't know who you are you don't know where you come from okay and in your identity crisis typically becomes because it's some sort of a change in state or change in financial stability or change in physical location, right? Or you go through a crisis, identity crisis, because you fell short of a certain goal or a certain aim. So now all of a sudden you, you thought you were this. Now you're not that. So now I don't know who I am. Crisis. That's why it's so important that you know who you are. Outside of your achievements and lack thereof. Outside of your possessions and lack thereof. Okay? Second thing about identity is when it's stolen from you. Identity theft. 
That's why you have to know who you are. Because if someone tries to steal something from you, they can't steal who you are innately. They can't steal the core of you. And if they can, I'm going to question your identity. All right? And guess what? People don't steal anything unless it's of value to them. Notice what I said. People don't steal anything unless it's of value to them. Okay? Identity theft is when somebody deliberately steals someone else's historical background or relevant background. And it's usually some sort of a reason or method to gain financial wealth or advantage over that individual or a class of people. That's what I said. Identity theft is when somebody steals your culture, your identity, as a means of financial advantage or gain or material gain or financial advantage or financial leverage. Okay? And not always about getting the cash. Some people don't want to, some people want to leverage your ability to go get things, your credit, your resources, right? And the most devastating part of identity theft is when they do it to you. It's, there's no loss to them. The, all the loss is on your shoulders because when things happen, it happens to you. It happens to your name, your family, your culture. July 4th, 2018, day 185, identity is one word. Know who you are so you can become independent. It's your man, Earl, www.deuceswild22.com. July 4th, Independence Day. I want to say Independence Day within your own identity. God bless you. Peace.